Coach Goldsmith, who has been one of the leaders in lacrosse, actually in the nation, but who is, I think, responsible for all the lacrosse uh, competition in Guilford County. And he will talk about Dave Brown, an exceptional young man. David Brown, <laughs> you know, David was one of Guilford's best players and one of my best players as the coach here for four years. The all-time leading scorer, and he was also such a free spirit that he, you know, he kept everybody loose. So he was not only a great player, but he was a great teammate. And, you know, great players at Guilford, you know, they stand out. Because back then we were just getting into the ODAC, and he was one of our few, very few, standout players. I mean, at 6'6", he stood out quite a bit. One of the things that we really worked on doing, and he practiced it very well, is he would come and I taught him to take his lead arm and put it right over the top of the defender and then just shoot over the top of him. And he mastered that skill. He was such a good off-ball player, though. His cutting was tremendous. He'd see the back of a defender's head, and he cut the opposite direction. And with, you know, feeders like Billy Beck and Jamie Kittleberger playing with him, I mean, he got open, they put the ball near him, and he scored it. D Dave, you know, he was a, he was our team clown. Okay. And, uh, you know, he, he even kept me loose, and that was tough to do back then, because he was always telling jokes, playing pranks on people, and, uh, you know, he let us know that it's just a game. My favorite Dave Brown story has got to be the Limestone game when we beat them 29 to 12. Dave had 10 goals and a couple of them were behind the back. Uh, his cutting was tremendous and he had Jamie Kittleberger feeding him all day. And every time he moved, the ball was put in his stick and he scored it. So with 10 goals in a game, that's still a record I would assume here at Guilford College. Uh, that's probably my favorite lacrosse moment with David. That's great. Dave's uh, stats alone, uh, his four years here at Guilford, um, I believe he had over 300 points. I don't think anyone was even close to that. Um, but more importantly, I believe um, he's part of the history of Guilford College Lacrosse. I don't know who was next, but I bet there were probably 100 points <laughs> less. Um, he was just a great player. Um, he I believe he contributed a lot to the, the history of uh, Guilford College Lacrosse. He's very creative. He's a creative player. And if you know Dave, you know he's creative. I mean, Dave would always do signs for games and put them up, post them around campus, and drawings of different guys on the team and nicknames and to draw people out to the games. Um, but he was definitely a creative guy. He's, he's, he's big. Dave's a big guy. He had, he had all the physical attributes to make an excellent crease attackman, as well as just a, a, a ball handler. Um, he, had, he was deceptively quick. For his size, he moved very well. He had very soft hands. You could throw Dave the ball anywhere, and he was going to catch it. And most importantly, he was going to finish it. He was a finisher. Um, now, that was his role. If we needed him outside the crease handling the ball, Dave would do that and could do it equally as well. Everyone liked Dave. Dave knew when to be serious. He knew when to uh, kid around, joke around. Uh, he put people at ease. I think a lot. We were down, you know, halftime, we'd be talking, and it'd be pretty serious, and then Dave would cut a joke to cool things down a bit um, and then get our head back in the game. Dave, um, with his, his art and lacrosse, he was very uh, passionate. And I didn't mention this earlier, but he was, he was very tough as well. If you know Dave, you probably wouldn't think that. But Dave took a beating, <laughs> and he practiced every day, and he uh, he excelled on the field. But Dave would his nothing, no one game really sticks out in my mind. He had games when he had uh, ten goals and a, you know seven assists, um, but Dave was always very consistent. Um, we would play teams that were uh, obviously not at our level. But then the next week, we play teams like Salisbury or Roanoke, and they're always ranked in the top five year after year. And they would come on campus to play us, and you'd always hear from other coaches, how are we going to stop Dave Brown? 
And he was, like I said, he was always consistent. Whether it was a top two team in the nation or you know someone that was um, not even ranked. Brown is arguably the finest men's lacrosse player in Guilford history. The 1998 graduate scored 213 goals and 302 points, both school records, from 1989 through 92. He scored at least one goal in each of his 60 career games, had three seasons with 50 goals or more, and scored an Old Dominion Athletic Conference record 96 points as a senior. The Chapel Hill native earned honorable mention All-America honors from the United States Intercollegiate Lacrosse Association in 1992. Brown is believed to be the first North Carolina native so honored. He continued playing on the club lacrosse circuit after Guilford and served as a Quakers assistant coach from 1996 through 97. Brown earned the U.S. Lacrosse Men's Division Coaches Council North Carolina Assistant Coach of the Year Award in 2005 and volunteers at the Orange County Correctional Prison. Brown works as a digital artist and assistant lacrosse coach at Cedar Ridge High School.